is again it's an intriguing race um Fasal Vega you know was all the horse on everybody's lips at the start of the season after his last run there is question marks there's a cloud over him at the moment you know the horse that won that race and he galloped well to the line you had to be impressed was Ilete Tom so he's definitely a live contender look the one horse and I feel the connections have been very brave in what they're doing they took a stance that when he won his grade one in Fairy House, they said they'd wait and go straight to the festival is Marine National. Now, the form of the of the race in Fairy House has not really worked out brilliantly, but for the simple reason is he overcame very testing conditions which which were never ideal for him and he still won. I do feel that if the drier conditions going to Cheltenham that he probably is the horse you have to beat. From the English side, you have Tamaras. Who is, you know, been touted as, you know, an improving horse and a chaser in the making. But, you know, Paul Nichols is a habit of turning of winning big races with these horses that are chasers in the making. So Tamaris is definitely a live hope. And also, you know, you have a dark horse down the bottom in rare edition, who only for a slight mishap in Huntington would be an awful lot shorter in the odds. So, you know, it's it's wide, wide open. I wouldn't rule any horse out, but I'd be heading just heading towards Marine National, I think he just ticks a lot of boxes and uh, on drier conditions, which we know that he will be in his favour. Um, he's a horse for me.